move on to Los Alamitos, the reigning Sunset League champions, a team we're so bummed we couldn't see what they did beyond the Sunset League. We're going to get to see it this year. Nine returning players who are either first team or second team all Sunset League, and they have the most dangerous duo in the county, one of the most dangerous duos in the country at quarterback Malachi Nelson and wide receiver Makai Lemon. They're just going to be juniors this year. They were sophomores last year, and they were co-league MVPs. Right. You just asked the question a minute ago. If you did all that as a junior or a sophomore, what the heck are you going to do next year? But everybody thinks that these guys, they're not even close to their ceiling. They haven't met their potential. As you said, only sophomores didn't get spring ball, didn't get summer training, didn't have any real time to get acclimated to the varsity level, and they still came out and tore it up. And they're going to be really special in 2021 and 2022. Yeah, no, they they they're 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 popping, man. Like they're they. I'm so excited to see what they do now in a full season. And when we went to meet with the Los Al coaching staff, we saw them come into the football office in their time off in their free time, drawing up plays on the whiteboard, just putting in that extra work. And they're special. That's what it takes to be that extra special talent. And co-defensive coordinator Coach Coble told us that. These are guys, even though they were sophomores, they were leaders on this team. They put in the work, as you said, and they're great kids off the field. So they're the kind of kids that you want to root for. And what's great about having high-profile recruits in your conference is every team gets to play against them, so every team's going to have eyes on them from college coaches. Let's talk about co-defensive back of the year, Lane Broderick, co-offensive lineman of the year, Cash Kepka, and co-defensive lineman of the year, Adam Tomchek. Those are all going to be seniors for Los Al. So we're talking about they're losing a little bit at the linebacker position, and they're fully loaded everywhere else. Yeah, fully loaded. These guys aren't just winning all league honors. They're winning player of the year honors, and they're coming back, which means they have that much more confidence, that much more experience. And they just played a season a few months ago, so they're going to feel like they're still in a groove. So we already know Los Al, they're going to be a tough, tough out for everybody, not just in Sunset League, but in the entire area. The last Los Al player who got an All-League award was Gavin Porch, All-Purpose Player of the Year. As a sophomore last year, he averaged seven yards a carry, three rushing TDs, and three receiving TDs. So just, just another threat. Another weapon for Malachi Nelson and another guy to help take some of the pressure off Makai Lemon there at the wide receiver position. Well, and there's so many other guys that when we sat down with Coach Coble, he talked to us about that are going to be huge contributors. A guy like Brian Gerardo comes to my mind. Mm -hmm. Uh, So many guys that he mentioned that are going to make contributions but might not be all league, might not get all the bright lights. So there's talent everywhere for Los Al Griffins. 